Hey guys, Adam here. I didn't get to record the bus trip out here because we barely made our bus on time. They actually had to wait for us. And it was such a rush. I wasn't able to get any footage coming to Nha Trang. However, I will start the Nha Trang trip with a quick hotel tour or a review of the place that we stayed at. We just walked around and found any place that was open that had a good price and looked nice. And this is the, the place we found. It's called Hong Chong Hotel. And it looks like it's essentially just a big house ran by a family. We've gone in at about 8 p.m. So we shopped around to the couple places. This seemed to look the nicest and it actually had the lowest price too. So first room I'm gonna walk you guys through is the room that I got with myself and my girlfriend. It was just a single bed and it was 250K a night, which is very cheap. I'll put that on the screen now. So I'm gonna walk into my room, show you guys my room. It of course has been lived in for one night, so you'll see our stuff laying about. Unlike the hotel in Vung Tao, this one actually has a refrigerator and a television. It still has a standard wardrobe. The bed was very comfy. The AC took a little while to get going, but once it got going, it really cooled off the room. It's got a couple windows on the side. The windows don't really go anywhere. This was a non-smoking room, but to be fair, so is the one in Mung Tao. I just happened to have a balcony to smoke off of. It's your standard wet bath. It's pretty large. Uh, soap was provided. Uh, oddly enough too, toilet paper was provided. The television has all the Vietnamese cable channels. So I was able to watch a few things in English last night before I fell asleep. So that was our room for 250K. Now I'm gonna walk up to the third floor and I'm gonna show you Walt and Deesa's room. Oh. Okay. You mind if I go back in so I can show it real quick? Uh, did you lock it? Is, you didn't lock it? Okay, good. Okay. Unfortunately, this hotel does not have an elevator, but that's okay. We did walk up 900 steps to get to Christ our Lord in Gun Tao. So I don't mind walking up a few steps. Now this is was Walt and Deesa's room, which they got a double bed. And they paid 350k. I'll put the price on the screen. And this room is actually quite large. I guess it would need to be to fit two beds. But sometimes they don't put full size beds in the double bed rooms. This one they did. Looks like they have some sort of like cat toy. At least that's what it looks like to me. It's actually a shelving system. They got a window to actually view down to the street. This one too is obviously a little dirty because they lived in it for one night. It's got your standard wardrobe. This one's actually sectioned to two sides. Like what do for two people? Refrigerator, small television, pretty nice desk. Let's check out the bathroom right quick. The bathroom's about the same size as ours. Their AC also took quite a while to fire up. Other possible amenities of this hotel might include a ping pong table. So I see one sitting here. And there's quite a large rec space right here that seems to be inactive right now. It might have to do with the fact that tourists haven't really returned that much to Vietnam yet. I'll put a link to the hotel and the address and show it to you on Google Maps right now. It was actually just maybe 100 meters from the coast, which was actually pretty cool because that's where the bus dropped us off. The pros of this hotel are its location. Like I said, it's close to the coast and it was very cheap. It had a TV and the air conditioners, once they started going, it really did cool off the room. The cons of the room were that they were non-smoking with no balconies, but I did what is typical for me anyway, so I will open the window and I'll hang out my head out the window and smoke. They required to hold our identification rather than to just photograph it, which was kind of annoying because I was trying to rent a motorbike with that same identification and it was not possible without a $500 deposit. Another con is where our room was located is right next to a family's room that I believe has to do with the hotel. And uh, they made their, <laughs> I can't even talk. The children were sure to make their presence known once every few hours past 8 a.m. by running and screaming down the hall. I'm gonna give it three and a half stars out of five. And the reason why I'm not giving it three stars is because of the low price. But I am gonna deduct some stars for them 
actually wanting to hold my identification and not return it to me, which disallowed me to rent some motorbikes. And I'm gonna take away another star for the screaming children from 8 a.m. till 11 a.m. when we were trying to sleep. But now we're gonna catch the ferry, we're gonna go out somewhere else, and I'll show you guys that in the next video. Thank you very much for watching, guys. You guys are awesome, and I hope you guys stay that way. I just mentioned going out on a ferry, and those that have been in my Discord will know exactly where I'm going, and perhaps maybe you even followed me on Instagram and you would know then. But if you don't know, please stay tuned, and please bear with me. I've been very slow in getting my videos out lately. I've been extremely busy, but if you would do me a huge favor, like, comment, and subscribe, it would be a great encouragement for me to get these videos out to you a lot quicker. I want to appreciate everyone that's been following me and watching me and participating in my Discord. I want to thank all my Patreons, everybody who's donated, everybody who has made this trip possible and made this YouTube journey very fulfilling to me. If it wasn't for you guys, I probably would have quit this YouTube business a long time ago. So thank you very much. I truly, from the bottom of my heart, appreciate all of you. For those of you guys that just started watching my channel, I really appreciate you guys also, and I hope you'll stick around for the rest of my journey. And I also sincerely hope you'll go back and check out some of my older videos and give me some feedback and things that I could have improved. YouTube truly is a rough business. There's not much money here, and it's extremely time consuming. But all that aside, I truly appreciate you guys being as awesome as you guys are. I look forward to your guys' comments. I look forward to talking to you guys in Discord. And I hope you guys will continue following my journey to infinity and beyond. Disney, please don't copyright strike me.